Hello students, let's read our question. Mr. Gonzalez designed a ramp for his car as shown in the picture below. What is the volume of the ramp in cubic feet? Okay, so in my first sentence, I don't see anything like to solve a math problem, no numbers or math vocabulary. Now in the second sentence, they're asking for what is the volume of the ramp. And that is our question. With a circle underline and box the question, my next step will be elaborate. And since they are talking about volume, that tells me I'm gonna use my formula chart. So please hold on that I'm bringing my chart. So I can see the ramp here in the picture, which is all of this. Not this section that looks like a box this section where I have the arrows and in my formula chart they talk about prisms and pyramids and remember the prisms have rectangular faces so if I see this section here can you please try to follow me on what I'm tracing in pink well that shape looks like a rectangle so that means this shape has rectangular faces. So that's why this is a prism. So we're going to be working with this formula. Volume equals capital B times H. And I'm going to write my formula right here. Volume equals capital B times H. Where the capital B will be the volume. The B that must be the area of the base. And the bases in triangular prisms are always triangle. I'm gonna put it in this color. And then the H is gonna be the height of the prism itself. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how we identify the bases. The bases always must be parallel to each other. So you see this triangle in here, guys, and I'm gonna trace it in black here now well if I have this triangle this triangle right here that means that here although we don't see it we can tell there is a triangle on the back like that so then these two triangles these two triangles are parallel parallel to each other that means these two are the bases so this is what i'm going to work with as my base and then the height is the distance between the two bases which in this case will be this 14. see how i put it in green so this is what we're going to do and then we're going to be working with all this section here okay so let's get started to find the area of the base we have to find the area of a triangle how do we find the area of a triangle in the triangle, I have to identify the base, the height, and then we divide by two. And we have to multiply that by the height of the prism. This is the volume of the prism. This is the area of the triangle. And this is the height of the triangle. Now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna do substitution. The lowercase b means the base of the triangle, which in this case can be the 8.8, 8.8, then times the height of the triangle, not of the prism of the triangle, so that will be this three. And then we divide that by two, and I got all these numbers from the triangle. Now that I'm doing substitution, I'm gonna write the value for the height. What's the value of the height? This 14 right here. On the side, I'm gonna do my operation. So what I did first was number one, I identify the dimensions in my shape. My step two, what I did was to do substitution once I ordered, uh, I identified the formula. My step three now will be to do my operations. 
And then notice that here, guys, I have a point A that multiplies the 3, and then at the end, everything will be divided by 2. And this will be the area of the base. I'm going to write it on the side. Area of the base. And in this case, the bases are the triangles, because this triangle is parallel to this triangle. Great. Now, something that I always like to do is simplify before I do more operations, because then that, that will always save us time. If I get half of a point A, that's going to be what? 4.4, because half of A is 4, and half of point A is 0.4. So now these two will simplify to this. I don't have 8.8 divided by 2 anymore, now I have 4.4. Then times, then the 3. So now I can do the multiplication on the side. I'm going to do 4.4 times 3. Can you help me to multiply? 3 times 4, 12. 2 and we carry 1. 3 times 4, 12 plus 1, 13. Great. Let's check the, the decimals. Here we have 1 and here we have none. So the total is 1. From right to left, 1 decimal point, that's 13.2. Great. So the volume here is going to be equals to 13.2 and this times the 14. And remember this 14 is the height of the prism which is the same here, and this 13 here, this 13.2 is the area of the triangle that we figure. So we're going to multiply 13.2, that is the area of the triangle, times 14, and 14 is the height of the prism. Let's multiply. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3, 12. 2 and we carry 1. 4 times 1, 4. Plus 1, 5. Let's use a placeholder. 1 times 2, 2. 1 times 3, 3. And 1 times 1 is 1. Let's add. 8 plus nothing, 8. 2 plus 2, 4. 5 plus 3, 8. 0 plus 1, 1. Now let's look at the digits and see how many decimals they have. Here we have one decimal, on the 14 we have none, so the total is one place value that we got to move from right to left. So what it means is that the volume, after we multiply 13.2 times 14, that's going to be equal to 184 and 8 tenths. And the units are cubic feet. I'm going to put a cloud around this and I'm going to look at the answer choices. Do you see which one matches, guys? It is letter D. Awesome. Thank you.